All right, this is the reflux uh, setup uh, without the round bottom flask. So this is the reflux condenser. You can see that um, we have some sort of a fish pump here to pump in water. So the cool water will enter from the bottom. Yeah, the reason why the cool water needs to enter from the bottom is because during reflux, when the solvents and the reactant evaporates, right, um, it will be best if they touches the coldest parts of the condenser first so that uh, they will be condensed uh, into back into the round bottom flask. Uh. Yeah, so later on, when there's a round bottom flask is being set up below, right, then you will be able to see how uh, the reflux takes place. Okay, yeah, then after that, uh, the water will flow in from here and then it will exit uh, over here. Uh. So if I'm going to switch on the pump, you'll be able to see. Okay, so I'll just switch it on first. Okay, you can, you can see that the pump is moving and then the water is slowly um, moving in. Okay then um, you can see that the water is flowing out. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to switch off the pump first because uh, I don't really need it. Yeah, so this is the hot plate uh, with the magnetic stirring function. Yeah, so this is the temperature control. You can see that I have already switched on uh, the temperature because I want to heat up the water bar first. Okay, so this is the uh, one that controls the magnetic field. So it allows the magnetic stirring bar to stir and helps to uh, stir the reaction mixture. If you are wondering how does the magnetic stirring bar looks like, something like that. Okay, yep, so uh, yeah. So later on, uh, after the reaction, you're going to rem remove it using uh, this particular um, magnet. Okay, so you can see that it sticks to it. Okay, so that's how it works. Okay, and then um, we have the chemicals here. Okay, so this is methyl salicylate. Okay, so I'm, go I'm just going to uh, uncap it. Uncap it first. Okay, so when I uncap it, I'm going to introduce uh, the required volume, which is uh, 2.2 uh, cubic centimeters. So it has been adjusted uh, accordingly. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, introduce the volume. Okay, yep. And then I'm just going to introduce it in. Okay, yeah, slowly. Okay, and then that's about it. Okay, just going to put back, uncap. Remember all the good habits. Okay, you should uncap it back. Okay, then after that, uh, I'm going to pour in the solvents. In this case, uh, ethanol. So I've already poured in earlier on. So I'm just going to introduce it in. Uh, you can take note of changes if you want to. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just do a light swirl. Okay, so the metal salicylate will just dissolve in it. You can see that the solution is kind of like colorless. Okay, now um, please take note of the changes when I add in sodium hydroxide. Okay, very, very carefully. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to pour it in. Okay, take note of the changes. Okay. Are you able to observe that uh, some white PPT is being produced? Okay, I'm just going to touch the surface of the round bottom flask. Okay, it's actually a bit warm. Okay, it's also good to ask yourself why is it warm? Okay, so I'm just going to continue swirling it for a while. Then let it settle down a bit. Okay, if I'm going to cool this, you will notice that the white PPT will appear very, very quickly. Okay, but of course, it's not um, necessary. But uh, I think in our case here, it will be good uh, as a form of um, validation. What is the chemistry uh, involved? Okay, yep. Just going to let it cool for a while. You observe that the white PPT slowly appears. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of soaring.
Okay, bit by bit, you can observe. It's getting more and more cloudy, okay? Yep. So it might be a good time for you to ask yourself, um, why is this the case? Why is it that um, white PPT starts to appear? Okay, I think it's quite obvious from now. For now. Okay, so quite a bit actually appears. So if I'm going to cool it further, then more and more of it will appear. Okay, I think it's quite obvious now. Yeah, so you get a, quite a bit of white PPT coming out. Okay, so it's a bit um, difficult to swirl now. Yeah, because you get a, quite a bit of it. Okay, so what's going to happen now? What's going to happen now? I'm going to um, clip it over here. Okay, because I'm holding the cam um, my phone, I, I can't uh, do it uh, simultaneously. So I'm going to uh, clamp it and then I'm going to show you um, what's going to happen after I set up the reflux.